Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we are back on board Disney's brand new cruise ship, the Disney Wish. And I am so excited to be sharing with you some of the super fun things to do while you're on your Wish cruise. So far, I've shared a general review of my experience on the Wish, as well as all of the incredible dining options aboard. I'll link those videos here for you to check out if you're interested. And if you have a moment, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more Disney magic. Thank you, everybody. Now let's get to wishing. As you've probably guessed, eating, drinking, and just general delightful merriment is pretty much par for the course on a Disney cruise. But today, let's take a deep dive into those offerings aboard the wish that you definitely don't want to miss and just really enhance the magic of your entire cruise experience. First up is the live entertainment. These Broadway caliber shows are my top do not miss aboard the Wish. On the first night of our cruise, we were treated to the Disney Wish's Seize the Adventure, which was the perfect welcome home, if you will, touch to our first night at sea. Photography is strictly prohibited during these live shows, so I was not able to film, but just know that when Captain Minnie hands over the helm to our dear friend Goofy, an enchanting and heart warming story unfolds right before our eyes. There were some brand new original songs as well as true Disney classics and some of our most beloved pals sing and dance for us. I mean, it was truly amazing. What a welcome. And honestly, I felt like I was in a Broadway theater on opening night. It was just electric. We were also treated to a spectacular performance of The Little Mermaid on my Wish Cruise. And I've read that Disney's Aladdin will be shown on some Wish Cruises as well as seasonal spectaculars for both Halloween and the holiday season. So exciting! It's also worth noting that the worlds of Marvel and Arendelle dining experiences on board the Wish are electric live entertainment just by themselves, so definitely don't miss out on those dining adventures that are also included in your Wish pricing. P.S. All of the shows and live entertainment are included as well. Okay, next up for Wish Do Not Miss Recreation are the character experiences. Yes, that's right, you can meet and greet a ton of our favorite friends just like in the parks while sailing on your Disney cruise. Honestly, I had to keep checking the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app quite frequently throughout the day because the number of opportunities to greet characters, it was too much to keep track of in my head. I mean, they were endless. We met Peter and Captain Hook, of course, the Fab Five, Marvel and Star Wars superheroes, and even a bunch of pals at Castaway Key. I mean, really, I met more characters on my cruise than I ever have in the parks, and the ability to be right up close and personal with them was so magical and memorable, I truly will never forget it. Just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and as always, if you're looking for free help planning your next Disney adventure, please reach out to us at Big vacationeer.com slash YouTube. Thank you so much, and now on to more fun. This is a quick one, but I almost missed it, so I wanted to share just in case you didn't know, do not miss the fireworks while aboard your Disney Wish cruise. I mean, fireworks in general are pretty spectacular, and I always ooh and ah, but the fireworks at sea, something I've never seen before, really gave me butterflies. For our cruise, the fireworks were on Pirate Night, which, if you don't know, is a classic themed evening aboard Disney cruise ship. I personally went all out with my costume because why not? And while we danced the night away to our favorite Disney and even non-Disney hits, kapow! The skies were ablaze with spectacular fireworks that only Disney could display. So don't miss them. Next. For sure, do not miss the shopping. <sighs> Where do I start? As someone who is Disney merchandise obsessed, I had stars in my eyes for the cruise exclusive merch in shops like Mickey's Mercantile and Treasures Untold. There is also Enchanted Castle Jewels, a fine jewelry store I stepped in a brief moment before my wallet yelled at me, and Dory's Forget-Me-Nots, which has those super fun Disney tees and items like hats, glasses, all that good stuff. Definitely check out 
the Disney Wish shopping if your budget allows. Next up on our Do Not Miss Wish list is the nightlife. Starting off strong with what I'm gonna go ahead and say is the most out of this world lounge I've ever enjoyed, Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge. You feel like you're transported to another galaxy far, far away in the worlds of the Republic, the Empire, and First Order. The atmosphere is entirely inspired by Star Wars, of course, and the theming is rich with immersive experiences for adults every single evening. There are tasting experiences and signature cocktails to enjoy while you're relaxing on a cruise across the galaxy, complete with hyperspace jumps to several different planets in the Star Wars universe. You're able to see all of the spectacles in hyperspace through the viewport, a widescreen window to the stars. I truly felt like I was in another world while enjoying the hyperspace lounge. It is a wish cruise destination not to miss. The other amazing and all unique lounges aboard the Wish are Keg and Compass, which gives off old world pub vibes, Currents, which is the open air bar located high on deck 13, right near the pools, and lots of food. Then there's Nightingales, which is an adults only piano bar, very whimsical and romantic, as well as Cove Cafe, a sophisticated spot for coffee and drinks. And of course, last but not least, my personal favorite after hyperspace, the Rose, where you you can elegantly indulge in pre or post dinner cocktails before your reservation at Palo, Enchante, or wherever your evening takes you. Our next do not miss aboard the Wish is Senses Spa and Salon. Now, this choice may not be for everyone, but if like me, you like to indulge in a little rest and relaxation time while being pampered in a sanctuary of tranquility, I highly recommend some time at Senses. There is a wide range of spa treatments, including massages, facials, body wraps and aromatherapy and if you're looking to get beautified the salon offers services like hairstyling manicures and pedicures très chic now for the sports fanatics the do not miss onboard activity for you is worldwide of sports where you can get your game on and compete in open air activities on the high seas like basketball ping pong or shuffleboard to name a few and just like the other ships on the disney cruise line the do not miss spot for kids is absolutely Absolutely one of the youth clubs for ages 3 to 17 where Disney storytelling meets fun and excitement geared exactly for the different age groups aboard. It's a small world nursery, temporarily unavailable at the moment, is inspired entirely by the attraction of its namesake, and utilizes a colorful and soothing environment for little ones under 3. Disney Wishes Oceaneer Club is for kids ages 3 to 12 and houses an activity center inhabited by classic Disney Marvel and Pixar characters. Similarly, Disney's Oceaneer Lab is where imagination rules and this play space is completely dedicated to exploration and education, in a fun way, of course. And finally, Edge, it just sounds so cool, right? Is the tweens club for those guests ages 11 to 14 where they'll get their very own dedicated space to meet up, hang out, and plug in. Edge offers fully equipped flat screen TVs, computers, and video games, as well as a full roster of engaging activities. And I gotta be honest, it's very hip. And last, but absolutely not least, on my list of do not miss wish cruise activities is the Aqua Mouse. Oh, applause, applause, applause. This list would not be complete without talking about Disney's first ever attraction at sea. So this is super fun for kids, teens, tweens, adults, really everyone. And here you'll slide and splash through the wonderful world of Mickey Mouse. This is a family fun adventure complete with animated scenes, special effects, and a tube that is suspended high above the upper decks for 760 feet. That's right, the vehicle is a two-seater, I prefer the front, and you enter this magical tunnel that teleports you into the zingy world of Mickey and Friends. This was one of the highlights of my cruise, and it really is an amazing addition to the Disney Cruise Line legacy. I hope we get more attractions at sea in the future. Well, that's it for me, folks. Thank you so much for joining me wherever you are. Remember, if we can dream it, we can do it. Bye for now.